Welcome back artists to my new six part series all on colour theory. This is episode one. In episode one we're going to be looking at the colour wheel. We're going to be creating our own colour wheel and understanding how we mix the primary colours to create our secondaries and our tertiaries and then understanding what a warm colour is and a cool colour is. So come with me. Oh wait there, I need to tell you what you're going to need. So before we begin, this is what you're going to need. A sheet of acrylic paper, a palette, a paintbrush, optional you can also have a palette knife. I'll be mixing my colours with a palette knife and then applying the paint to the template with my brush pencil to draw your template and for your template you'll need two different size circles so I've gone for a little small plate and a little bowl. You'll also need a jug of water, some kitchen roll and of course the most important thing you're going to need some paint. So what paint do you need? Ultramarine blue, cadmium yellow and cadmium red. So let's get going. Our first job is to draw the template that we're going to paint onto. So you just want to get two round objects. Um, one's going to be a bit bigger than the other. I'm going to draw around the first one. I'm going to do mine in a sharpie just so that you can see it for the camera. I'm using a plate and a little dish. So this is just going to create a nice little circle for us. You can also use a compass if you like. Perfect. When you've got your template, we're going to start with numbering um, the template up. So at the top, you want to put number 12. And then at this corner, you want to put number 3. So it's going to work a bit like a clock. The bottom, we're going to go for number 6. And then here, we're going to go for number 9. So that just <laughs> eases up where we're going to put everything else. So between 12 and 3, we're going to put 1 and 2. We'll try and make it as even as we can. Three, nine, six, seven, and this is a true test. Can we count? <laughs> Ten and eleven. Perfect. When you've got all your numbers, what you want to do is then just section it off with some lines, just so that they become individual. And what we're going to do with this, we, this is where we're going to fill our colours in. So it's just going to help us from a reference point of view where everything goes. Perfect. So now I've got my colour wheel. I've got my three primary colours here. These primary colours are cadmium red, cadmium yellow and ultramarine blue. So with primary colours, these are the colours that exist that you don't mix two colours together to get. So these are the colours that are as they are. This is just a red, a yellow and a blue. You cannot mix colours to get this red, this yellow and this blue. You can mix colours to get quite close to them but you can't get the true um, colour. So our first job is actually just to fill in the red, yellow and blue primary colours. So you want to take your brush, give it a bit of a damp, and we're just going to fill in red on number 12. So you'll probably see my ink through the paint, but that just helps you for your reference in case you need to know where the numbers are. Lovely. So when you've got your red, give your brush, brush a rinse. Give it a bit of a dab on your kitchen roll and just make sure you get all that paint off. We really don't want to mix our colours here. Perfect. And then yellow. That's going to go in number four. And you'll see the pigment quite strong on the red compared to the yellow. The yellow you can really see the fall through and the red is slightly covering it up. Perfect, I'll just lay that on quite thick so you can see it nicely for the camera. Give your brush a rinse. 
and a dab on your kitchen roll. And our final primary colour is blue. And that's going to go on number eight. Now, look at the pigment in that. It's so strong, isn't it? <laughs> you cannot see that eight. So now we've got our primary colours. What we want to do is we want to write down that they are primary, so it helps our brain remember. So we're going to write primary red, primary yellow, and primary blue. And now it's time to get mixing. So we want to mix our secondary colours. To mix a secondary colour, we want to mix two primaries together. So for our secondary colour on this side of the wheel, we're going to mix an orange and we're going to mix that using red and yellow. So we're going to mix this on the palette as well. When you are mixing it on the palette, try to do it in line with the colour wheel. So we'll try to place it somewhere where two would be. So it helps your brain out as well when we are putting it in um, on the wheel. Cool, so we're going to take some red. And you want to mix quite a lot of this secondary colour because we're going to use the secondary colour to make our tertiaries later. Perfect, so you've got a nice clump of red there. I'm just going to give my palette knife a wipe. And with this red, we're now going to add yellow. But the difference between the red and the yellow is that the red is quite a dominant colour, which means you really need a lot of yellow to keep down that red. So we're going to go in with quite a lot more um, red than uh, yellow than red. So you see the difference there. So when we mix that together, it should create a nice beautiful orange. even though put so much yellow in, <laughs> it's really not made much of an um, impact on the red. The red's so dominant that you really need to play around with how much of the yellow we're adding in. Sometimes people might think when we are mixing a secondary colour, we are using 50% of each colour to make the secondary colour that sits in the middle, when actually we're not. You just see how much yellow we've used there to mix this beautiful orange. It's all about just knowing which colour is more dominant and adding less of that colour when we are mixing. And it's really fun to play around with and just you can always add and just play around with that until you get your nice colour. So with the orange we're now going to add that into number two. You might want to add it quite thickly. So you can really see it. Lovely. Okay, so give our brush a rinse and now we're going to mix our secondary colour green, which is in between yellow and blue. Okay, so what we need to remember when we are mixing our green is that blue is a more dominant colour. You can sort of see how translucent the yellow is and how opaque the blue is. You can't really see the number eight under this blue and you can see the number four here. So we really want to go in with more yellow than blue. Perfect. So I've got a nice big blob of yellow there. I'm just gonna wipe my palette knife so I don't contaminate the blue paint. So with the blue, we're just going to use a tiny fraction. It's like a, a pea size. We're going to mix that in there. You see already that blue is taking over. Mixing. Lovely. Until you get that really nice rich green. Perfect.
just going to scoot some of that green up, nice big blob, and we're going to put our green into number six, our secondary green. And look at the coverage on that. <laughs> you cannot see the number. Perfect. We're giving the brush a rinse. And we're going to move on to our next secondary. So our next secondary is going to be number 10, and this is violet. Just make sure my palette knife is clean. Don't want any green in there. So with the violet, we want to mix more red than blue because the blue is very dominant. So I'm going to take a nice big lump of this red. So I've got about four scoops of my palette knife there. And probably the same with the green. I'm just going to put in one scoop of the blue. So about this much. You can see that? There. So we're going to mix that in to create our violet. Lovely. And when you mix new colours, you'll start to notice what colours you really like and what colours you're not so keen on. It's quite fun how much you learn about yourself through art. Ooh. I'm just going to give my palette knife a really good wipe off. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to scoop our violet up and put that in number 10. And give our brush, brush a rinse. Now we're going to write on our secondaries. So we're going to write secondary on each one and what the colour is. So this one's orange, orange. And try not to get paint on your hand. <laughs> Violet. Perfect. And underline them. Perfect. So now we've got our primaries and our secondaries. So it's time to create our tertiary colours. So our tertiary colours are going to go in all the remaining empty squares and the tertiary colour is the primary colour and its secondary mixed together. And when we mix the primary and the secondary together, it's going to lean more towards the primary colour. So this orange will become a red orange. This orange will become a yellow orange. And this green will become a yellow green. So it's always going to lean more towards your primary colour. So let's get started with our red orange. So you want to take um, a scoop of your orange paint and again with the red it is quite dominant so you don't want to go in too heavy with it. So I'm just going to take probably half the amount of paint that I did with the orange. Give that a mix. In fact, I'm going to go in with a little bit more um, red there. Just so you can see that on camera a bit better. So this is now my red orange and you see how it's just a fraction darker than this orange here. It's more of a burnt orange. It's quite nice. And I'm just going to fill that one in there. And there's no right or wrong on how much red you mix into your red orange. You can have it as red as you like. As long as it's leaning more to the red. Okay. So 
our next tertiary colour is going to be yellow orange. So we're going to take our yellow and just wipe my palette knife and a little scoop of orange. And we're going to mix them together. this yellow orange and this is a really vibrant bright orange it's gorgeous and you can fill that one in <laughs> see how translucent that is you can definitely see the number three there Maybe I'll just go in with a bit more paint so you can see the colour. Nice. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to rinse my brush and move on to my next tertiary colour. So this colour wheel is called the RYB colour wheel and what that stands for is red, yellow and blue. This is the one you usually learn about in school but we don't usually do the tertiaries in school. It might be the primaries and the secondaries. Um, so this is just a little tiny bit more intense, but it's really, really good knowledge to know. Perfect. So now we're going to mix our tertiary colour in green and yellow, and that is going to be yellow green. And I really like this one. Okay, so I'm going to get my green. Big scoop of yellow there. When I mix that together, it's going to give a, you a zesty green, like it's almost like a lime, lime colour, I guess. And there are endless amounts of green, oranges, violets. Okay, so now we're going to fill in this beautiful yellow green. Make sure you can see that. My water's getting very muddy right now, so I'm sure yours is. If you want to pause the video and get yourself a fresh water, then please do. Okay, so now we're going to go on to our other tertiary colour, and this is going to be blue green. So we're going to, again, we're going to take a scoop of our secondary colour, our green. And then we're just going to take a fraction of blue. We don't want too much again because it is quite a strong colour. So we're just going for a small amount of blue there. I'm going to mix that in. Gorgeous. And then we're going to fill that one in there. Lovely. So now we're going to go on to our next tertiary colour, which is going to be blue violet, which is our secondary violet and blue. So we're going to take a nice big scoop of this violet. So it's really handy when we mix quite a lot of our secondaries for this because we can use all the secondaries to create the other colours. And just take the same time mixing again. Oh. Okay. Get our blue violet, nice big blob of blue there, but less than the violet. And this is really going to deepen the violet going to cool it down a bit, all that red. And that's going to go into number nine. Okay. 
will give you fresh rinse. And our very last tertiary colour, which is red violet, is going to be the last one we mix today. So we'll take our second red violet and a nice big chunk of red and it's really going to set that violet on fire, set it alight, it's going to make it nice and red. So there are all our colours on our colour wheel. I do want to show you one more thing. So I want to show you how to mix a brown. Well, one way of mixing a brown. We'll go through other ways as we go on in these videos. So one way to mix a brown is to mix all these three primaries together. So if I draw some arrows here. together you'll always end up with a brown if you put more yellow in you'll get a yellow brown if you put more blue in you'll get a deep dark brown and if you put more red in it'll be quite like a nice burnt umber so there is our brown So that's it for episode one on the colour wheel. I really hope you enjoyed this exercise and keep that colour wheel handy because in the future episodes, this is going to really help us. As always, thank you for watching.